Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, it's one of our uh, uh, subscriber requests that uh, the, my recent uh, video series on uh, building a uh, meetup.com uh, RSAP uh, stream processing application. Uh, I actually developed a um, Kappa producer using a Python uh, programming language. So he was actually wanted in uh, Scala. So I built a project. So basically it's a, a, a simple uh, Scala producer, which actually takes the uh, data from the uh, the stream API, which is uh, meetup.com is giving. Um, so basically it's a REST API. Okay. So how do you consume the REST API and you take the JSON message and publish it to the, uh, the Kafka topics? That's what we are going to do it in this video. So I built that project already. So I'll just open that project. Uh, I'll go to the uh, my let me minimize this recording window and I will go to the IntelliJ ID. I'm using the IntelliJ ID, which is actually uh, uh, Internet Development Environment for building your uh, uh, Scala or uh, Java projects. Okay, so you can actually use the both uh, different build tools like uh, sorry build tools uh, like my SVT for simple build tool or Scala build tool or Mavin you can use uh, uh, Gradle uh, different build tools you can use it you can just install the plugins and uh, you can use it so I use the uh, uh, SBD plugin okay um, okay so uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, basically uh, I'll open this project which is meetup uh, RSAP Kafka producer um, uh, okay so what happened is uh, Okay, so let me show you the uh, the build.spt file, which is actually a, a kind of um, uh, like if you are used uh, if you are familiar with the Mavin project, Mavin based uh, Java Scala project, so you will have a pom.xml, right? So similarly, build uh, build.spt also a file which is where you specify the uh, dependencies for your project. Okay, so uh, what I did is uh, basically I just put the dependency. Which is Kafka, right? Because you are going to use the Kafka producer. So uh, you, provide, you provide your uh, dependency, uh, library dependencies uh, plus equal to equal to. Uh, it means you are actually adding a new dependency. So this is uh, a group ID which is uh, org dot apache dot Kafka, and the artifact ID is Kafka, and the version is 2.3.1. Just provide this. You can just go to the uh, SPD and you can just do refresh to download the dependencies click on this okay so once this is done then you will be able to see the uh, dependency jars in the external libraries all this kafka related jars okay so the main th these are the main jars which we are going to use it the kafka and kafka client okay so this is for your information and then you will have a you know that you need to have a JDK installed. Okay, so then I created a Java object class. Okay, uh, now Scala uh, object. Uh, now uh, what I'm going to show you is yeah, before running, uh, before going through this, let me start the Kafka server. So I already installed uh, Kafka in my uh, local machine. So if you want to install, just to follow me other video where I just. Uh, where I installed uh, Kafka in my local Windows machine as well as the you can also watch other video how to uh, set up the IntelliJ ID on your uh, laptop okay so now let me start the uh, to start the Kafka server you need to before that you need to start the Kafka zookeeper server or component okay first I'll start the zookeeper once that is started I'll just go and start the Kafka server as well. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, command line consumer to uh, check whether the data is being published currently from our uh, Scala application. So this is started at 2181 uh, default port number. So I will start here uh, the Kafka server. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so it is going to start this. So it is started the server. Okay, starts is starting. Okay, so it is started. Now what will I'll just go through the program. Okay, 
so for kafka it's going to be similar like uh, how you create a kafka producer using scala okay only the language differs but almost uh, uh, many things are same okay so uh, so first what we are going to do is we are going to actually consume this uh, rest api right which is this is there the this is the open source rest api provided with the meetup.com we are going to consume this rest api and then get the json message published to the kafka topic called the meetup uh, uh, rsap topic which we are using for our project okay so you need to uh, Im import a few dependencies like uh, for uh, for uh, rest api call i'm using a url api url package or url uh, uh, class you can just import that and also properties for setting up uh, 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 properties uh, uh, kafka properties uh, so i'm just going to property property i'm going to create object for properties and set the different kafka configurations here and then use it in the kafka producer so for that reason i just see importing this properties and uh, for uh, so once you actually invoke the rest api you will get the json message right so but that comes in the uh, string format so you need to uh, just parse it and then send it to the uh, uh, scala okay so scala producer so i just need this uh, uh, the uh, jackson uh, xml parser uh, classes we just imported these two uh, classes then uh, we need this is the important one where you actually uh, get in, import the uh, kafka producer and kafka producer record producer record is nothing but a message which you are going to publish which is wrapped under the producer record okay so once you import these necessary classes uh, then i'm going to create this uh, um, scala object which is a kafka producer demo and i have a two variable which holds the kafka topic name and the bootstrap server which port number with port number so this is going to be a, 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 a basically a, in the in java world you have static void main right so similarly in the a, scala object you will have a main method which takes arguments command line arguments uh, currently we don't have any command line arguments and uh, Return type is uh, null, so here uh, void you can it's similar to void here. New unit is the one, so then just printing the statement. So this is the URL of the uh, meetup.com REST API. Uh, so you just create an instance for URL and pass the URL, and then uh, uh, this open connection, uh, uh, open connection of uh, 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 when you say um, uh, this URL object dot open connection, which actually gets the uh, um, makes the connection to this REST API, okay, the connection object, okay. So then uh, actually you can use the get uh, input stream to get the uh, uh, just to make the request uh, um, uh, uh, put request, uh, sorry, get request and uh, get the RSP messages, okay. So then, uh, actually, I'm using this. Uh, before that, I'm using a JSON factory. Uh, Installing the JSON uh, uh, factory. Yes, we are going to pass this JSON object. Okay, and then say uh, this factory object dot create parser of, and you pass this uh, uh, connection object dot uh, uh, get input stream. So which actually uh, uh, takes your the string message and uh, have it as a uh, the parser object. Okay, so then this will have actually the uh, the JSON message which is passed. Okay, so what you are going to do is because you are going to call this uh, continuously because uh, we want to once you make one get call, you get the that particular second order of the message it comes. So we want to uh, do this in a kind of real time. Okay, so uh, so we just uh, run in the while loop. Okay, so we just say uh, the object. Uh, um, object parser dot uh, uh, parser dot object uh, next token so which will uh, try to make uh, uh, get the next uh, uh, item so it will keep on uh, uh, calling for uh, infinite loop which is kind of infinite loop okay unless you get message you don't get message from the rsap it will just keep on running okay so so that's what we are doing it here and then this is the basically uh, um, um, Kafka information, okay. Uh, Kafka server information, basically a bootstrap server, 
and the acknowledgement of all and the serializer basically we are going to serialize this uh, message into st string only so even though you get a json message we'll actually while publishing to the kafka topic we'll convert it as a string and we'll put it so auto commit enable true interval then all this default settings i just put it uh, then uh, create a producer object with this property we set it here uh, so it's going to be a which uh, uh, um, uh, is going to be which is going to return a uh, Kafka producer object. Okay, so this this while loop infinite while loop uh, we are making uh, to get uh, uh, new messages from the REST API, and then you actually uh, read values as tree which which actually gives again a JSON string. Uh, just a json message okay json object you can say a json message or object that again we are converting into string because we want to publish to the kafka topic because we are using the string string laser so then uh, so in the kafka uh, so then you need to create a producer record it's nothing but a creating message object so in the producer record the first uh, property is the uh, uh, for first parameter is the topic name second is the message record message record is nothing but a your uh, uh, the JSON message which you received, okay, and then uh, a producer object dot send off this producer record, which is like similar like Python. Uh, um, you just producer dot, dot send off. You just provide this message, right? Similarly, it's almost similar to your Python uh, producer, uh, just uh, language syntax differs and uh, different packages we are using. And then once this is this is going to be a, a infinite loop. Once this is probably it is complete. And then it will create the it will we are closing the producer object and closing it. So okay, let me run this and show you the demo. So I'm running this uh, Kafka producer. Okay, so it has started. Uh, uh, one message published. Okay, so okay, so let me check that uh, in the produce consumer. Uh, okay, so I'll come here. I'll run the consumer. Okay, the command line consumer. Okay, so. So I just put it as I remove the iPhone iPhone beginning uh, because it will now it will get the latest uh, message. It says could not be established. Something is not good. Yeah, this is broken. Yes. Yes, yes, um, it is actually the failed actually is Kafka server, server is failed. Okay, let me restart again. I think Zookeeper is running, it's no problem. Okay, so again we'll start this. Now see now it is started consuming the message. So here it is started publishing the message. Here we were able to consume using the command line consumer. Okay, this is how you can create a, a Kafka producer using a Scala application. Please, if you have any queries, uh, 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 please post your uh, uh, doubts or uh, feedback in the comment section of this video. I hope this video is helpful to you. Uh, thank you so much, friends. Please watch my other videos and playlists in my channel. Uh, see you in the next video, friends. Thank you so much.